the National Book Trust has recently opened a book promotion center at Agartala, Tripura's capital city. Aimed at promotion of reading culture, especially among the youth, NPT has been promoting many book fairs all over the country. Its centers at Delhi and several other places all over the country includes books written by prominent writers in English, Hindi and many vernacular languages. The new Agartala Center was inaugurated by Chief Minister Shimanik Sharkar, who went on to urge the youth of the state to read books, saying that books were the best ever friends. The new book promotion center received many visitors on the inauguration day as well as on subsequent days. Readers praise the quality of books on display and sale. <laughs> মেলাতে ডাকতে চাইব এখানের বইগুলো অনেক স্ট্যান্ডার্ড আছে পড়লে অনেক ভালো লাগবে NBT has had many brand ambassadors like Nasiruddin Shah to promote book reading Altogether 27 elected autonomous district council members of Manipur organized a sit-in demonstration at Jantar Mantar New Delhi on the 5th of September demanding extension of the 6th schedule of the constitution in the hill areas of Manipur to fulfill the aspirations of the tribal people. The district council representatives were holding placards with slogans like New Delhi save us, we demand 6th schedule, Mr. Ibobi don't fool us anymore respect tribals of Manipur, etc. Many students from Manipur studying in Delhi also joined the demonstration. The delegation met the President of India, the Home Minister, besides other dignitaries and have submitted a memorandum to the Prime Minister's office detailing their demands. At present, Manipur has six autonomous district councils under the seventh schedule. They are Chura Chandpur, Sadar Hills, Ukrul, Tamenglong, Senapati and Chandel. Talking to Youth Folio, the chairman of the Chura Chanpur Autonomous District Council, Mr. Langkhan Pau Gaite, said the centre had already extended the sixth schedule to Assam, Tripura and Meghalaya. It is now Manipur's turn. We are coming here at Delhi for demand for extension of sixth schedule provision, which is guaranteed in the constitution of India to the North uh, Manipur Hill area. Lord Lady Representative from Chura Chanpur, Grace Janmu, was opposed to the ongoing blockade in Ukrul and urged the people for peace and communal harmony. Peace is uh, without peace. The children, everybody suffers. This is the most important. But when there is no justice, there cannot be peace. There cannot be sustainable development. So we all like peace. And actually we want the central government, the new government to interfere that some sort of a kind of peaceful solution comes in for, especially for Manipur. Without that, uh, we will be suffering like this. A four-day long Mizoram Women Farmers Spices Festival was held between the 5th to the 8th of September at Dilli Hatch, New Delhi. Women farmers of Mizoram participated with their ginger turmeric and bird eye chilies in the festival which was sponsored by the Spices Board of India and National Horticulture Board. The women offered many varieties of their products which ranged from turmeric at Rs 40 per kg to turmeric at Rs 320 per kg depending upon quality. However, each of the farm products offered were totally organic. The festival found many buyers from among the Delhi crowd who were happy to buy the healthy products at cheap rates. The aim of the festival was to give a platform to the women farmers to sell their products and give them exposure to bigger markets. The women participants also managed to get bulk orders. We are promoting the women farmers of Champai district of Mizoram uh, and we are very thankful to the organizers who are the uh, Ministry of Women and Child Development and uh, NSFI, National Skills Foundation of India and our sponsors uh, National Horticulture Board and the Spices Board of India. Uh, we are really thankful for giving us this platform to promote our women farmers whose producers doesn't have a very uh, 
vast exposure and uh, through this ex uh, exhibition we are going to have uh, more buyers uh, maybe in future back in mizoram women can be seen in the forefront of almost all activities including farming horticulture floriculture and so on they can be seen in fruit processing and even in selling fruits and vegetables in the marketplaces in fact as one goes around the bada bazaar in aizol one would see that most of the stalls on the roads and even shops have women as sellers Biopic on Mary Com hit 1800 silver screens across the country on the 5th of September and raked in a whopping rupees 28.32 crore in the first opening weekend itself with Delhi and Mumbai reporting maximum collections. A uh, movie bahut achhi lagi. Ek uh, biopic thi aur uh, uh, matlab jis tarah se movie ka jaise end hua aur jaise national anthem wagaira usme tha. वो भी बहुत अच्छा था कुछ चीज़ें थोड़ी ओपन छोड़ी वो भी बहुत थॉटफुल था जैसे फेडरेशन वाला भी मेरी कॉम से काफ़ी क्रॉस था फिर भी उसके बाद भी एंड में वो इंडिया को सपोर्ट कर रहा था वो भी बहुत मतलब अच्छा थॉट दिखाया द फिल्म हैज़ बीन ड्राइंग फुल हाउसेज इन असम एंड मेघालय मैं अभी ये फिल्म देखा बहुत अच्छा है नॉर्थ ईस्ट नॉर्थ ईस्ट मतलब ये फिल्म नॉर्थ ईस्ट मणिपुर से बन रहा है ये ये फिल्म जो है ना मोनीपुर में अभी अलाउ नहीं है लेकिन हम मैं सोचता हूँ कि मोनीपुर भी ये फिल्म चलना चाहिए क्योंकि ये फिल्म हमारा आसाम का नहीं नॉर्थ ईस्ट का गोडोफ है इसलिए ये फिल्म मैं चाहता हूँ मोनीपुर में लोग भी देखना चाहिए और अच्छा फिल्म है मोस्ट अनफॉर्चुनेट पार्ट ऑफ द एंटायर सागा इज दैट ऑल दो मणिपुर मेरी कॉम्स होम स्टेट हैज पुट अप ह्यूज होर्डिंग्स ऑफ द फिल्म द सिनेमा हॉल्स ऑफ द स्टेट आर नॉट स्क्रीनिंग दिस फिल्म that almost every citizen of the state wants to see cinema halls of manipur have to run manipuri films alone as per the dictates of the militants who have ruled that no hindi film be screened here the irony of the story is that pirated dvds of the hindi films are easily available in the state and so the dictate is not actually being followed by the people but as a consequence of the meaningless dictate cinema hall owners and the state governments are losing out on the revenue and people of the state are losing out on good quality film viewing I've been getting lots of messages in whatsapp and facebook from the middle east oman dubai and canada that they have watched the film and they said that it's a good film even though there are so many flaws but from bollywood perspective it's a good film and the film is going to be a hit so the curiosity over the film has been growing up on me also but since hindi films are banned in manipur so we have no alternative so what we have been doing is we have been waiting for the the pirated dvds to arrive in nepal so that we can watch it at home through the pirated dvds that's the only option we have or if you want to watch it then we have to go out of the state that's only option the pirated dvds of the mary com film 2 are out in the market now and everyone in the state has to perform see these or go to watch the film in other states mary com's husband k onlar com who says the film reminds him of his old days said that he wished militants had relaxed their ban as this was not a regular film but a biopic on an icon of the state I've been watching uh, the movie uh, Mary Com for two times, and actually it remind it reminds me the past life, and it very it it really touch us, and I hope the movie will inspire the young generations of uh, Manipur as well uh, for our country. and i can say that it will be a motivating movie for all over the world and it will bring uh, positive response to the viewers and audience